wouldn't be interested in playing a little game, would you? Hmm? Ooh, Good. that does sound fun there. Bailoth. What kind of game? A gladiatorial game, perhaps? Well, off to Baldur's Gate regardless. <laughs> Badass bridge. You know what this reminds me of? One of the many great bridges in the Fire Emblem games. Let's take those fast boots off. Hopefully this one doesn't have a bunch of holes in it. This would be... Really, it is a great defense for uh, Baldur's Gate against any attack from Am. it seems. Unless there's an easier crossing somewhere, of course. Huh. I serve the flaming oh. fist! Hello. The entrance tax is six gold for each party of travelers. For each of us, or for the entire party? Please announce your point of origin. Um... <laughs> the mystical land of frolicking naked nymphs where your every desire is granted a by a all blubbering bugbears. Hehe. <laughs> I... I can't resist. I... I just can't. I don't like your sarcasm. If you won't cooperate, then I'll just be, bring you to talk with my commander. Citizens, please step forward. Hi, Scar. First off, let me introduce myself. I'm Scar, second in command in the f of the... Holy shit. Of the entire Flaming Fist? Though it is not necessary for you to reveal your names, please answer me this. Are you the group that was involved in the trouble of the Ashkel Nashkel mines? Uh... Depends on what you mean when you say involved in the trouble. If you mean stopped the trouble, then yes. Yes, that was us. Well... I have to say, you've made quite the commotion up here in Baldur's Gate. I re can't really put my finger on a single source, but there have been many strange happenings going on within the city. It's been getting harder and harder for me to put trust in someone. I need outsiders to do some investigations. People with no connections to anyone within the city. Would you be interested in working for me in such a capacity? Sounds like an adventure hook if I've ever heard one. Um... If it pays well, sure. Alright then. What I'm about to tell you must be held in the strictest confidence. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Do you understand? I need you to begin an investigation of the Seven Suns trading coster. The Seven Suns leadership has been acting strangely of late. Is that... Is that where I was heading anyways? I forget. They've been selling off valuable assets and neglecting many of their more profitable trading ventures. Considering the importance that the trading center holds over the economy of the city, the Grand Dukes are noticeably upset. I've gone to talk to the coster's head, Jossu. He rudely rebuff, rebuffed me, telling me, it might, telling me to mind my own business. I've known Jossu for many years, and this isn't his usual behavior. I can't start up an official... An official an official investigation. As there's no real reason for doing so. That's why I need you. Sure, of course. Um. We're ready to start. Tell us what you need to do and how much money you'll need pay us to, uh, to do it. Or should we tell them about the uh, Iron Throne? I think the Iron Throne may be behind recent events along the coast. The mines in Nashka Land and Cloakwood learn much about the goals and methods of the Iron Throne and it doesn't bode well for the future of the region. Probably a bad idea to tell them, but let's do it anyways. Well, that sheds new light on things. There's nothing I can really do about it now, but I'll make sure to look into it. I want you to break into the Seven Suns compound and find out what's wrong. Use stealth in your investigations. I don't want this operation to cause too much fuss. The most important person to watch for is Jasu. Once you found out how as much as possible, report back to me at the Flaming Fist compound. I'll pay you 2,000 gold for this favor. Phew, sounds good to me. 2,000 gold for some, informa so for some information? The estate is located on the southwest side of the town. I wish all of you the best of luck. Remember, once you're done at the Seven Sons estate, 
it's imperative that you meet me at the Flaming Fist Barracks, which, we, uh, which are just west of the Seven Suns. <laughs> Very well. Where are you going, Scar? You leaving Baldur's Gate? All right, whatever. Well, hello, Quail. Whoever you are, I'll talk to you in a second. <laughs> you have to travel to a specific district of uh, Baldur's Gate. That's cool. You have but to ask. Just because of how big it is. And this game is before the era when you could render the entire city in one go. <laughs> okay, let's go say hi to Quail. Looks like a dwarf, I believe. Yeah, he is. Walking alone in the Coastway Road. How smart is this? Hey ho there, fellow travelers. You look to be wanderers of the adventuring sort. Tell me, what direction calls you? I am proceeding in a northerly direction this day. Um. Yeah, basically northerly. Ah, my loudish friends. That is my direction too. Fate has crossed our paths and we could all benefit by traveling together. It will be the classic pairing of you, the stalwart adventurers, and I, the intelligent one. <laughs> How could you refuse? Okay, fine, come along. Well, I suppose I'll be on my way then, you it You said yes? <laughs> he was about to call us an idiot. I mean, of course I'll come with you. My intellect and skill as a clerk oh you're a clerk. As a cleric will undoubtedly make your group much better than it is. Onward. Alright, what kind of uh, cleric are you? You won't you know the drill. Don't complain now. Um, he is... Oh, he's a cleric illusionist. Interesting multi-class. I wonder if there's any benefit to that. Also, eh, he's gonna... That means he's... Whereas Branwen is the fighter type. Even if she's a pure cleric. Yeah, he's definitely... More of a mage... Thought wisdom was a necessary skill for clerics, or maybe that's not in this game. No, oh, yeah, it is. He seems like a bad cleric. But I'll level him up for him, for his own sake. Um. Here you go. Single weapon style. No, sword and shield style. 20. Oh, he's a gnome, not a dwarf. Okay. Oh, uh, regardless. I am going to... What you want? Say goodbye to him. What is it this time? Yep. Uh, sorry... Uh, sorry to kept you waiting. Right, what do you have what to say to need? me, Quail? Please, don't leave me out here. Do you hear the buzzards? I hear the buzz... Or do you hear buzzards? I hear buzzards. No, oh, don't worry, you'll yes. be fine. Someone as smart as you should be. Have no trouble. Off to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Finally arrived at the namesake of the game. Oh, thou wonder. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Of course, Elminster. Good day to thee, young one. What a marvelous happenstance that we should again cross paths. Wait. Elminster, where do I know you from? Especially in such a grand city as this. Ah, oh, I see by thine eyes that thou'th no time for my right brant banter. Tis true, our meeting was no accident, though I do honestly take pleasure in seeing you seeing thee again. I don't... Ah, were you in Candlekeep? Perhaps you were one of the... Yeah, it must be. Can't think of where else you would have been from. It's good to see you again. What brings you here? Oh, 
All citizens of the Sword Coast eventually pass through Baldur's Gate, and I knew thou wouldst as well. Forgive my continued meddling, but I believe it is warranted, especially considering the pressures thou art no doubt confronting. My pestering of thee certainly pales in comparison to the influence thou hast felt from others, including thine own self. Goyen raised thee as best he could, but tis hard indeed to overcome that what is bred to bread in the bone. Much more so in this case, I would imagine. What do you know of Gorian? He was long my friend, and we talked often. Thou, though less after he settled down with thee, he was quite the traveler in his day, though he never regretted his new role as foster father. He felt a stable childhood would better prepare thee for, well, the problems thou would eventually come. He cared deeply for thee. I hope this was not lost on you. Bah, Grind was... No, Grind was awesome. He was a badass. And he sacrificed himself for me, so that's one way to endear yourself. He was a good man, though I'd prefer uh, to walk my own path. I was not suggesting that thou should do otherwise. Whatever the motives, independence is always a wise course to follow. My worry is that thy lineage is harder to escape than most. Yeah, there's been some question about that. Thou hast bad blood in thee. That's mean. Though Gorian did what he could to teach thee well and true, thou hast hungry blood within thee as well, and it will not lead thee go, not let thee go without a fight. For better or worse, what's bred in the bone will be dealt with in time. I trust thou hast the will to face what is within thee. Depends on what's within me. Is it a demon? A devil? A werewolf? Vampiric blood? No, that one wouldn't work. I'm in the sun. From within or afar? I know little of what is to come, but I will do what is best. I am sure the future will be kind to thee. For now, I will give thee my best wishes. A few names that will serve thee well. Or and a few names. Scar of the Flaming Fist is a good man, and well worth trusting. His superior, Duke Elton, is, all, is also a good sort. Both are to, be, to be believed when they speak. I take my leave and wish thee well. See, I don't remember enough about you to know whether I can trust your word, uh, though. Another encounter with Elminster. Again, Elminster has made an appearance, though he is a little... He was a little more forthcoming with information this time. Hmm. Spoke of bad blood. And a taint that will consume me if not care is not taken. Being the center of attention is something I normally aspire to, but I'm beginning to rethink that stance. <laughs> of course, Baloth. Um... I suppose I can believe them if Elminster himself does so recommend. Yeah, I don't know. Less confident. Oh, I'm also just naturally distrustful in these kinds of games. How may I be of assistance? You have but to ask. A nobleman. Just hanging out with all these commoners? How do you have Hello. to be talking to you? Nice to make the acquaintance of such a cultured personage. Those Iron Throne fellows are quite the secretive bunch. Saravok, the foster son of their leader, is quite the charmer, though. Hmm, Saravok. Interesting. Oh, hey, beggar. What is this place? Can we go in? Lucky Elo. You have but to ask. Looks like a shop of sorts. My prices are the best south of Waterdeep. All right, folks, welcome to Lucky Allos, where the prices are so low, there's got to be something wrong. <laughs> okay, that's a great slogan. Nobody sells it lower than me, because nobody buys it cheaper. If you can find a price lower than mine in this side of Callum Shan, the, I uh, the item will probably kill you. What can I get for you? Hmm, I'll take a look. Ooh, some magic items, even. 
Um, yeah, I can see why it's cheap. Marky potions, those are no good. I've had enough experience with that to be positive. These are all cursed items, aren't they? I would guess they are. But I'll sell you some stuff. What is it this time? All right, that's good. I'm not gonna buy anything from him. No cursed items for me, thank you. You have but to ask. Hmm. Gonna be a lot to explore here, I imagine. What is this place? Oh, nothing. Seemingly. Just a house, I guess. The door to this house is rotting off its hinges. You assume the house has been abandoned for years. Huh. Can I talk to commoners? Hello there. Hello there. You're adventurers, aren't you? You must be real brave to have fight to have to fight monsters and such. Um you know if you've been wa if you, any of you been uh, are wanted to have this uh I can't speak today. If any of you are wanting to have a good time, I know a place. It's called the Splurging Sturgeon. And it's located to the northeast of town. Hmm, nice. What kind of good time? Drinking and reverie? Or is this a brothel of sorts? Let's keep going down the back alley. Oh, hello. Thieves Guild entrance. Interesting. What do you need? I have to tell you, keep away from anybody claiming to be a member of the Iron Throne trading cartel. They're bad folk and not to be trusted. Ain't that the truth? I mean, we do have a thief here. I've done had enough of this. Hi, friend. You there? What are you doing in the? In, what are you doing in this place? You better get out of here. Get out of here. Thus, of course, you know the password. Yeah, I know the password. Hmm. I do not know the password. But we'll say Darkwell. Wrong answer. Get out of here before you get hurt. I've done Too had bad. enough of this. Yes? I wonder how I found the pa find out the trust. password. Hello, boy. Another Thieves Guild entrance. Let's talk to him. Loser, loser, loser. Hey, fuck you. Mama said not to talk to ventures. They're all loopy, she said. Well, that's no reason to call me a Good loser. If you save the day. That's just mean. This whole thing is the Thieves Guild. Jeez. You know, the existence of a Thieves Guild was always kind of interesting to me. The fact that authorities allow it. Hmm, Tavern and Inn, Shop of Silence. We'll check those out in a bit. Elf Song Tavern. That sounds nice. McFeely. <laughs> That's a name. McFeely. Maltz's Weapon Shop. Ooh, I want to check that out, too. First, McFeely. Who are you? Hello, pal. Speedy delivery, speedy delivery coming through. Must inform the Grand Dukes of the Nashville Mines Liberation. They must be told iron supplies will return to normal once trade routes are reliable again. once again. Speedy delivery coming through. Well, I mean, it might take a while to get rid of all the tainted iron. But yes. Hmm, this place looks nice. Oh, maybe not. What is this place? Nothing. Now let's go to the weapon shop.
Let's see. Where are you? I shall attend to it in a trice. This is a weapon shop, right? Oh, there you are, Maltz. Welcome to my humble establishment. Hello there. I'm Maltz. I know my place doesn't look like much, uh, much like a store, but I think it suits my purposes quite nicely. What is it that you'd like? Um, depends on what you have. Just looking at this, uh, looks like nothing. Yes, nothing. Except to identify this dagger. And dart. How may I be of assistance? It shall be as you wish. Something it was uh, like a really nice shop with a bunch of really good items. Guess not. This place looks nice. Is it a temple of sorts, maybe? But for whom? Oh, this is a wall. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Sorceress Sundries. Well... This could prove interesting. Got two people. Halbazer Drin and... Orjulinian. It shall be as you wish. Yeah, mate. Oh, weary adventurers. The roads of this fair city are lined with fools, are they not? And two of the greatest are... Archeon and Nymphry. Mm, necromancers fighting over trinkets and baubles of little use or value. I assure you, they are more trouble than they are worth. You are better off staring clear of them. Hmm. Okay. Yes? And who might you be, then? <sighs> Come to check out the ways of old Halbazer? Well, be quick about it. It's not a great way to, you know, get business, dude. And mind you, don't get fidgety when we talk payment. You knew when you came in the door that my wares were magical. Premium, uh, premium items demand a premium price. Let's see what you have then. Hmm, the Thresher. Plus two. Flail Morning Star. Not bad, but not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Arrow of Slaying. Slay Ogre Mage Upon Touch. Very specific. Arrow of Detonation. Plus 66 Explosion Upon Impact. God damn, how much is that worth? Is it an area of effect as well? Where'd that go? Explodes into a huge ball of fire and shrapnel affecting all within area. Yeah. What's the range of that explosion? Probably 15 feet. It's 2,600 for one arrow. Probably not worth it. Or no, it's uh, 1,500 for each arrow. Still probably not worth it. Oh, you get five of them. Maybe it is worth it. Hmm. Anything of value here. Potion of Master Thievery. Oh, nice. Oh, Merit Eyes, those are useful. Um. Hmm, clairvoyance. Powers the wizard to see in his mind the geographical features and buildings of the region he's currently exploring. Extends to a great range, but cannot reveal creatures or their movements. Does not function indoors or underground. Oh, that's nice. Does it permanently... Reveal the map? Or not? Regardless, I want it. I want all the spells. Non-detection. Makes the creature touched undetectable by divination. Oh. Interesting. Can't really think of much of a use to that, though. Skull trap. Upon casting this, the skull is thrown by the caster at the target area. The skull floats in the area until a creature comes within eight feet of it. 
When that happens, the skull is triggered and explodes, damaging everyone within a 12-foot radius. Oh, nice. 1d6 hit points per level of the caster. Ooh, nice. Maximum 20d6. Or half with save or spell. Half is certainly better than negate. But no. Vampiric touch, though. Doesn't give it to me, though. Right? Target loses 1d6 hit points for every 2 caster level to maximum 66 for caster level 12. They're added to the caster's current hit points with any hit points over the caster's normal maximum treated as temporary additional. Yeah, Vampiric Touch is really nice. This spell may not be cast multiple times to radically increase the caster's hit points. Must wait for the first Vampiric Touch to spell to run its course before casting another. Worth it. Ghost Armor. Duration two hours. And it can work on any creature, not just yourself. Wizard creates a magical force, a field of force which serves as if it were... Uh, ooh. Uh, plate armor. Cumulative with dexterity, and in the case of fighter mages, with the shield bonus. Ooh. Okay. That might make... Um, depending on whether this stacks with the bracers, this might be... Really, really nice. Buy. Definitely buy. Oh, Ice Storm. I'll take that. No? I guess I won't. I'll be back. Yay. Yay. No troubles yet. Fantastic. Yes? Ooh, spirit armor. Um, it's very similar to the third level spell. Ghost armor in that it creates corporeal barrier around the target's body. Um, the spell, however, actually taps into the target's life force in order to create the barrier. The armor itself is weightless... So it's a little bit better. But at the cost of HP. And plus three bonus to save or spell. 2d4 damage. Oh, well. Of course, it also only lasts for three turns. Hardly worth it. Res Otaluke's or Otaluk's Resilient Sphere. What does this do? Resilient Sphere will contain its subject for the duration of the spell if they don't make the saving throw. The sphere is completely immune to all damage. In fact, the only method of removing the sphere is successful to spell magic. Hence, the creature caught inside the globe is completely safe from all attacks, but at the same time, completely unable to affect the outside world. Good crowd control. Assuming you know. You can, they don't make the saving throw. Well, actually no, because then they're also protected from your attacks, so things like hold person are better. It only lasts for one turn as well. Not really worth it. Greater Malison. The spell allows the caster to adversely affect all the saving throws of his enemies. Oof. No saving throw against it, either. The effect is applied to all hostile creatures within the area of effect. Opponents under the influence of the spell make all saving throws at a penalty of minus four. I want that. Remove curse. I think I already have, but I'll take. Contagion. Hmm. 
They're all reduced by two. And the character is slowed. Not terrible, but it's a negation. Oh, and it's permanent. Yeah. Uh, not for now. Secret word. It would dispel one spell protection of 8th level or lower. God damn. The spells that are affected by this are minor spell turning, minor globe of invulnerability, spell immunity, spell deflection, spell turning, and spell shield. Target's magic resistance, resistance, if any, does not affect this spell. Huh. Farsight. Oh, that's, I think, that's a cleric spell we already have. Right? Teleport field. The wizard instigates a teleportation effect that randomly teleports all enemies in this area for the duration of the spell. The teleport field is best used against multiple enemies, serving to confuse them and allow the wizard to concentrate on activating his defenses. It's actually a nice effect. I'll take that. No saving throw, either. Mm, polymorph. What creature can you turn into? Um... Nor does it run these. You don't get magic or special attacks. Um, nor does it run risk of anything. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I mean, Polymorph is a classic ability, though. Should I get it? Maybe. After I get these, of course. Damn it. Malison, I need again. Yes. Greater Malison. Is it level four? Is that why? Oh, yeah, probably. Sunfire. Sunfire is like fireball, explosive burst of flame. Yes, yes. Um. Up to 15d6, though. God damn. And it's, um... No, it's still the same, basically. I might get that someday. For now, though, 5th level spells are not very useful to me. Can't even get 4th level spells, after all. Power word, sleep. Causes a comatose slumber to come upon one creature other than undead. Um, and other certain creatures. Must have less than 20 hit points and get no gets no saving throw. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Oh, it's only one creature, never mind. I take it back. I don't have Raven Feeblement? Huh. Alright, that's enough spells. Um, what else do you have though? Wand of the Heavens. Huh. Flames will do 8d6 damage to the target. With ones taken as twos. Um, saving throw halves. Jeez. One creature. 3,000 gold, and I'm not sure how many charges it has. Probably like 20, maybe. That'd be my guess. Yes? Oh, what we're done here. Time? No, we woke up the stairs, I think. Good 
on you if you save the day. You what have is to here? Anything? Nothing? Oh, Neiman. And a couple of guys. Oh, look what a cute little party. Invading our space. We were preparing a ritual, and you all but ruined it. Um, I'm sorry, am I interrupting something? Like an extremely difficult spell, perchance? Yes, I would have to say that maybe you are interrupting something. Yeah, that was kind of a dick move on my part. Um, I'm very sorry, I'll leave now. Uh, what does it matter now? Do what you will. Poor guys. Hmm. Interesting, though. I should... First things first, let's go visit this the Elf Song Tavern. What you want? Cardinus. I to it in a trice. Aye, you be fighters and mages and monster killers all be ye. Um We may not all be fighters and we may not all be mages, but each of us has a monster's death throes to our name. Why do you ask? The Rahoods be lined with bandits of every oak and description, but the most fearsome be them monstrous hobgoblins. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. I actually have to disagree there. Hobgo hobgoblins are hardly that fearsome. Do us all a favor and place a blade into their gut. Oh, sure thing, Cotronus. Let's see, serving wench. What do you got for me? Please, seat yourselves whatever you wish. Yeah, there. What do you need? We, we need to be bothering me for. I have work to do. Oh. Apparently nothing. Let's talk to the bartender instead. You want some whiskey? Welcome ye are, at least to tell ye can I pay a tab. Beware what beware ye well the dark corners of the song. What? The song, what? As the guard turn a blind eye to much that happens here. Is there anything I can do for you? Was this the elf song tavern? Maybe that's what they meant. Let's see what we have. Westgate Ruby Wine. Nothing. 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 No. No rumors. So be it. You have but to ask. Hello, Sirdamak. Who are you? I wonder. Lady, quote unquote. Alice Elendara. That name sounds familiar. I don't suppose it was one of my quests, was it? No. Yes. Don't recognize him. Or her. Sir Hello, pal. Can I help you, friend? If not, please do not hesitate to get out of my face. You're interrupting my fun. Um, sorry to disturb you, friend. Let's be on my way. What fun are you talking about? Let's talk to the lady. Alice Elendar, you look like a thief. Something you require? Good eve to you. I'm Alith, the owner and proprietor. I trust the elf song will fit your needs, whatever they should be. I should be wary of the clientele if I were you. Everyone is quite on edge of late. Hmm. Apart from looking a little haggard, everyone seems quite ordinary. What have I to fear here? Hmm. Why should the melancholy be so pervasive here? Um... Yeah, why? Why is Mount Call so pervasive? We have lost more than the average citizen. We have lost the lady. You are the lady. Often we are blessed by a strange phantom voice. It is an elvish maiden lamenting a lost love drowned at sea. Her voice is quite beautiful, and the reason I purchased this establishment in the first place. She has not uttered a, uh, uttered a note for nigh unto several ten day. Oh, that's the lady you were talking about. Surely it is an omen of sorts, though I cannot say of what. I would have thought the economic troubles of the land too paltry to affect the concerns of the dead. <laughs> you would think. But matters are often more complicated than they seem. I suppose they are often simpler as well, though the truth does not support my argument quite as well. Forget I mentioned it and enjoy your stay. Very well. Ruffian. 
couple of ruffians. So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> Apparently they don't like me. People in the Sword Coast really do like kicking people in the head till they're dead. Seems to be a common pastime here. One that people love to brag about. You have but to ask. All right, let's move to on to Shop of Silence. Right. Oh, there is the entrance. Is it? Come on. Oh, a rogue. You have but to ask. Ah, there's oh, a person named Silence. Be ye friend or be ye dead. <laughs> I like that greeting. Walk yourself slowly in, and keep your arms at your sides. There's no win, and you get no smiling welcome. I, expe I expect payment for your safekeeping, and you pay by the day and by the head. Uh, the risk I take harboring you low-grade hooligans is simply not worth it. Five gold up front now, if you please. Here's your five gold. Oh, hey. A cloak of protection. I see. Oh, let's get out of here. I isn't what I was expecting when it said Shop of Silence. Let's just go to the Tavern and Inn. Good on you it shall be as you wish. Let's see, right here. It shall be as you wish. Nothing special here. Hello, bartender. What do you got for me? You want some whiskey? Whatever your poison, you're sure to find it here somewhere in Baldur's Gate. So would you like a drink? Sure. Mead? I hear some units of the Flaming Fist have been sent to Baragos. Seems like the Grand Dukes are getting real paranoid about Am. Indeed. Oh, nothing. Alright. Hopefully I'm not too drunk. How may I be of assistance? What? Yeah, the evidence is somewhat confused, but... That's fine. Wait. Another bartender. I to it in a truck. Pool? Can we play? God damn it. Come on, let me in. What do you need? Damn it. Teasing me like that. I shall attend to it in a truck. They weren't kidding when they said this was just a generic inn. Tavern inn. Generic tavern inn. inn. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's you move on to the ask. next district. 